Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft Solutions. Th today I'm putting together a real quick video uh, with our paving module, and I want to explain how to create a custom paving pattern, something a little bit more complex, something that you might find in the Unilock catalog or some other manufacturer where you have several blocks of different sizes, they tile in a certain way, and it is a re repeating pattern, but sometimes it's really hard to find that pattern. So I'm going to show you one method I use uh, when dealing with Unilock. Uh, what I've done is I've went on their website. We can see here is the Unilock website. You can download uh, hatch patterns from them and um, follow their instructions to link that to your CAD, pro your AutoCAD product. Uh, but once that's done, you can uh, quickly uh, use those tools to lay out um, the basic shape of the pattern. So Let's um, just type H for hatch, and I'm going to open up my pattern library here, and let's scroll down towards the end of the list. I should have that they are starting with this Antara, some other stuff, Brussels. Um, let's see, I'm going to do El Campo. Um, and you can see if you hover on, over them, you can get the full name. I think it was going to be L. Here's L. Yeah, let's do that one. And I just drew a circle, and that can be any shape you want. I just need to get something on screen. And then we will change the scale to make sure it's um, scale appropriately. And once that's done, you can always do a dimension command or um, a measure command to um, verify that the blocks are the right size. Um, so we have that. It's just a regular hatch pattern now. Nothing special. What I'm going to do is copy that. Just C O for copy. And grab that. Drag it off to the side. And what I want to do is identify the repeating pattern. And if I go back to the website, I can scroll down to El Campo. There it is. We can see all the colors and everything else. But if you go down, 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 we have line patterns. And this is where it gives you the different options, what you can do with this um, system. And I'm going to do the L. So here's L. Let's grab the pattern sheet. And I've already downloaded that. Um, here, here it is and they highlight the repeating pattern so it's easy to identify. You don't have to go through trial and error to find this out. Um, great, so we have that now. Let me create a new layer. I'm going to call it, um, here's do new layer. I'll just call it pattern. And let's make it red so I can see it easily. And let's set that current. Now I'm going to do a boundary command. So BO for boundary, pick points. And we're going to gra grab all of the, or you'll make a boundary out of all of the, um, here, let's redo that. All right, let's copy this here, do a boundary, pick points. First thing I want to do is explode it. That's why it's not working well. I need to explode the pattern or the hatch into its line work, underlying line work. Then I can draw my boundaries. So we have that one and that and that. Let me look at this again, make sure I have all the pieces. Yep, great. So now I can just isolate that. Let's move it off to the side. And, and let me turn my layers back on. This is going to be the basis of our paving pattern. And it's important that all these are closed blocks. Um, 
in the paving module is going to estimate the number of blocks needed to achieve the pattern. Um, and so in order to calculate that, it looks for closed polylines. So all of these are separate polylines uh, and they're closed. If you want to include a grout line, uh, you can do an offset of these and then you know erase out the, the old line work. <clears throat> but for me, I just need to be diagrammatic. I'll you know have the grout. These are the um, nominal dimensions for the um, the pattern. Okay, so we have that, and we know that how it tiles with itself. Let's so let's tile one of them, another set. Um, let's see here. So we have the piece here, and then it repeats on top itself there. So this one would repeat right there. And this is how we're going to set the row and the offset in our paving pattern. So let's go to the paving module. This pull down here, it has database manager and pattern manager. We go to pattern manager. We are doing a paving area. We go to pattern. There it is. And we already have El Campo here, um, but I'll recreate it just to demonstrate. You hit new and then select the objects you want to define that pattern. And so we know we want those blocks. We hit enter. The next click, uh, we want the origin of that pattern. So it's usually the lower left hand corner. The column offset is going to be this other edge. And then the row offset is going to be up here because it's going to tile this diagonal so you want to match this origin point which is where and to where the next origin point would be. So let's call this El Campo. I'll call it L test. And hit finish. Now let's test out that pattern. I'm going to just copy this circle over again. And let's apply the paving pattern to that circle. I go to add, paving, um, select area, we use the circle, delete source object, that's just a keyscape default, um, it, whatever you prefer here, I'll hit no, I want to keep the, the construction geometry, click on pattern options, pull down, go to patterns, find El Campo, here's a preview of it, it looks okay, but let's um, apply it just to make sure and hit OK. There we go. And it generates a label for us. If that's something we want, we can place the label. Now let's zoom out and make sure that we match. Let's um, move this over closer. And we can see that we've replicated that exactly. Um, I've also done the same thing here with some other ones. So here's uh, Beacon Hill. Uh, there's Antara with a different pattern. Uh, you, once you lay these out, you can you always have them in your pattern database. Um, I also like to uh, you know create a drawing that are, is full of these things, and I can just you know grab those, copy and paste them, or make them into blocks even uh, w block them out. So you have a library of these patterns you can just drop into a drawing real fast, or even make a tool palette out of those. So that's how to make a paving pattern from a more complex Unilock product. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for more. Thanks.